Well guys, we started you out today. We're test fitting all these scarfs for the top plates. I've got the whole top plate stretched out the full length of the barn right now. Got some adjustments to make, which I figured I would. You know, it's kind of hard to tell. You do the best you can, you know, your measurements, your layout and all that. And when you put them together, most of the time you're going to have something that you're going to have to do. So this joint down here does not fit right all the way around. I mean, it, the flat part's all right, but the ends, I got off somewhere. Either I was too tired and I shouldn't have been cutting them when I was cutting them or something. So I'm going to cut both of those back a half an inch and redo them. Now this is precisely why you don't lay wall post or anything out until you have fit this top plate together. So important, guys. Just so important. So I've got to do that one. And then this one up here, I just have to uh, trim the table of the scarf down a little bit. And that one actually fits really well. So we're going to keep going. We're going to plug away and get as far as we can tonight. And hope for the best. So I'll see you on the other side. We didn't get as far as we wanted to today with this. Um, what happened was I had one one of these top plates I got off on my cuts. Not bad, nothing that wasn't correctable easy enough. I threw that one back on the sawmill and trimmed it down a little more. But the second top plate in, that's the one that I had trouble that I uh, ran a blade that was too dull on the mill. And where I hit knots the blade dived on me pretty good. I finally figured out that was throwing my layout out because on the end with the scarf joint it was right over top of a big knot. It's the only log I got out of those woods that last time I was out there that had big knots. But, uh, but anyhow, the camera died on me so I missed a lot of the footage guys. I apologize but we still got quite a bit of doing in this one. So where we are at tonight. Tonight it's uh, Saturday so you guys will see this. It's Sunday when you guys see it first. So, But where we're down to now is I can now lay out this top plate. I can lay out my wall posts. So I've got it uh, temporarily. I've got two timber locks in each scarf just to kind of hold everything in place. How it's going to sit when it's up there. I've got it shimmed so that it's all level, all one plane. Um, so it's kind of important when you go to lay these out, you put it together as it's going to be when it's sitting up above. Now all of these I will draw bore, um, and I'll take you guys through how we do that. I probably don't need to, but I'd like to on these ones just to kind of, I mean they're in as tight as they're going to get right now. So we're at a point where we can actually lay them out. But Tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a good day for for uh, you guys and for me. I'm going about 40 miles south of here. I'm taking the chainsaws with me. And we're going to be dropping, selecting and dropping timbers. And I'll walk you guys through a few things you want to look for while you're selecting your timbers for one of these frames. So it'll be a good one. Uh, and that one should be up Monday morning if all goes well. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. It's kind of a short one. Tomorrow's will be quite a bit longer, or Monday's will be a lot longer. So you guys have a good evening, and I will catch you on the next one.